what up though detroit so you already know the deal uh, you know just giving a shout out to petty tupac tv like comment subscribe you already know the deal we have to support our everybody's businesses and you know you already know how it goes we support each other you know what i'm saying make detroit win What up, though? Y'all already know how I go. Make sure you smash, like, subscribe, and comment. I don't care what you comment, as long as you comment. You dig? I appreciate all my supporters. Continue to support me. I want to tell y'all a story about <clears throat> a guy named Shatan Coast <clears throat> from um, Lansing, Michigan, Block Burner. Um, some of y'all might know him by Hot Boy Tusi. This is the craziest case ever. Like, the victim got himself indicted on the crime when he could have just shut up and everybody went home, but it's cool, whatever. Um, Hot Boy currently in a level four prison, and I, I could see why he 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 one of those guys that really want to be down with the cause. He really messed with the folks. I don't know what he is now or whatnot. I'm not saying he is gangbanger or not, but I'm just saying he likely to be a part of an organization. That's why this deep into his bit, he's still or back in the level four. You dig what I'm talking about? The finish of Tom Coast and Shelton Coast were tried before a jury for the shooting and assault of uh, Melvin Taylor. This is the guy. The jury convicted Shatan Coast of assault with intent to commit murder, assault with intent to do great bodily harm, less than murder, and carrying a concealed weapon in possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. The trial court sent the Shatan Coast to uh, concurrent prison terms of 20 to 80 years in prison for the assault with intent to murder, five to 10 for the assault with the uh, intent to do great bodily harm, and two to five years for the CCW, all of which will be considered consecutive to a two-year term of imprisonment for the felony firearm conviction. Defendant's convictions arise out of a dispute between members of the Block Burners gang and members of the rival 269 Deuce gang in Lansing. Whatever 269 mean, I don't know. It could be the back of the zip code or it could be just look at the dial pad and look at the first letters in each of the um, gang's initials. Um, on March 5th, 2014, two days before the charge, offenses were committed. Uh... Complainants Melvin Taylor and Donnell Whitebeard, members of the 269 Deuce Gang, committed a drive-by shooting at the home where defendant members of the Block Burners Gang apparently resided. Taylor and Whitebeard uh, committed a similar shooting at the same home two days later. So he shot up this guy's house twice. On the morning of March 7th, 2014, that was the second shooting. The same day, Taylor and Whitebeard also shot at a vehicle in which uh, Shelton and um, his uh, girlfriend were riding in. They shot up a crib twice. They shot up a car with an innocent woman in it, right? The instant convictions arise from defendants' subsequent acts when they were observed, when they observed the uh, planes at a roadway intersection later that day. The two defendants and co-defendant, uh, Quindarius Johnson, were in the vehicle and uh, two Complainants were in another vehicle. Defendants engaged the complainants in a high-speed chase, pursuing them through a residential neighborhood while shooting at their vehicle. Taylor, who was driving, eventually lost control of his vehicle and crashed. When Taylor fled on foot, defendants chased him, eventually caught up to him at a car wash, and then physically assaulted him, striking him in the head with the gun. The defendants left as the police approached the scene, but were apprehended a short time later. Shatan Coates and Shelton Coates were convicted and sentenced as described above. Right? It's crazy. Melvin Taylor, I can't find it on Whitebeard, but Melvin Taylor tells the prosecutor when asked, he was asked, what make you think that he would do something like this to you? He tells that he shot up the house twice. Shot at that vehicle 
and this was retaliation. Did he think he was going to go home in Lansing? What is that, in Graham County? Did he really think that he was going to go home? That boy got himself jammed up. <laughs> Melvin Taylor got himself assault with intent to do great bodily harm, less than murder, six years. Firearm destroyed uh, uh, towards a building, four years. Um, weapons firearm possession by a felon, four years. Karen Casillo, four years. Weapon felony firearms, two years. Um, and I guess they uh, revoked his uh, probation for controlled substance of a methamphetamine. He's since been paroled uh, early 2022 and moved to Carolina. He knew he couldn't go back to the hood at all. Dude talk and got everybody jammed up, including himself. You don't hear too many stories about somebody being a victim and they tell the police and get themselves locked up and somebody else too. That's about the dumbest stuff ever, but yeah, just don't ever be gassed again, man. Just leave that stuff alone. This is what happened. Yeah, everybody want to glorify the streets about the stuff that the media doctor up to sound so good, but really it's stupid as hell. It's really stupid, man. It's really stupid. Stay free. Peace and